Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are heading in to try to find the final secret mission of the game before we move on to trying to find the secret level. Um, this is going to be in high block halls, and as far as I understand, unlike the previous one, this one is the same for everyone every time you play it. So we're just gonna go into this in high block halls. Um, as far as I remember, it's pretty early on. We totally missed it, but we're gonna try to find it this time. Hopefully it goes well. So I don't know how long today's episode is gonna be. I don't think it'll be nearly as much effort as last episode. Uh, but yeah, let's just go into it and find out together. We're way over leveled for this area, so it should be fine no matter what. Um, but we'll definitely play the other one on a higher difficulty, I think. But for right now, I do need to warm up a little bit, so I might get beat up anyways. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep looking around. I think what it is is there's something to interact with somewhere and I know sort of what oh yeah it looks like here <laughs> yep you can already tell <laughs> so let's keep moving there we go and I'll also get all of these guys out of here just might as well um, but as you can see I can activate that shield and it opens this right here so let's go inside and take a look and as easy as that, new location unlocked. So level unlocked, under halls, we might as well then just uh, return to camp. I think we'll just keep what we have unlocked. Um, I think we were like a whole 10 power levels or something crazy like that above this. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, so I just didn't think it was worth replaying that level. We probably wouldn't have gotten much experience. Um, was I right about that? 2734, so like about seven above, yeah. So not quite 10, but pretty far up there. And same thing with this one. So it does make me curious, should we try this one no, <laughs> no, we shouldn't, um, can't do that. Um, so I'll just do default, it might be a little bit easy, but we'll just go for it. There is a potential unknown artifact we have not gotten here, so let's hope we get that. And if we have an extra time today, maybe we can look around to see where there's other potential artifacts or weapons or gear we haven't gotten and try to get that as well. But look at this place, looking really cool. So this is the final secret mission area though, I'm really glad to finally be here and just sort of get this one done. Um, and then like I said, next episode will be dedicated to finding all of the runes for the final secret level. Uh, that'll be cool. There's not too much going on just yet. Anyways, I didn't read the story for this, but it's enter the cellar, what lies below. Read the story, I guess later. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I definitely need to still like warm up a little bit. There we go. Well, I like this area so far. It definitely feels like an extension of what was going on before, but I guess we're going deeper into the uh, castle instead of up above. That's pretty cool. There we go. And yeah, not too many enemies at the, uh, so far. I'm supposed to be going that way. So what else is going on around here? What is this? Nothing? Okay. Sort of looks like it could be an opening. I guess not. And nothing of interest up this way. Okay. Well, I'm glad I made sure. If not anything else. So yeah, let's go back down here and try to go through this. Only way we can really go at the moment. Explore the cellar. Oh, this place is actually quite big. And then there's another door down there. So I can't open that, I need a key. Gotcha. So yeah, let's start trying to figure that out a little bit. Don't see anything up there. That's where we came from, so. I think we'll be fine just going over this way then. Lots of enemies, so let's use some fire arrows. But yeah, we're finally here, the last uh, secret mission of the game, at least the last direct one. Uh, and I don't know if this one will be as quick as the previous one was. That one was sort of disappointingly quick, given how much time it took me to unlock it. So this one, maybe this one's the inverse. It takes no time to unlock it, but the level's really long. I'd prefer that, for sure. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. It does feel bittersweet. I do like this game, but honestly, it is a little on the short side, even with all of the replaying you can do. Um, but that's where the DLC coming out later next month is exciting. I will definitely be playing it for sure. Um, and hopefully there's more than just that too. I hope that this is a game that's supported for a while and that by the end of it, uh, we could maybe have a pretty large game to enjoy. But like I said before, honestly, I think this game has sequel written all over it. I would love to see a sequel that already like takes this idea and goes bigger with it, has a bigger story, more levels, maybe like an overworld concept. Like I said, I've played plenty of other um, action RPGs like Torchlight um, that really do that well. It makes it really feel like an adventure. Anyways, there's lots of enemies around right now, so gotta get rid of them as much as I can. We did get an arrow bundle there, so that'll be helpful. Oh my, uh, okay, be careful. Not too bad, I'm just trying to watch out for them. Definitely want this strength potion. 
There we go. So lots of enemies showed up there, but I think we got rid of most of them. Got a couple more over this way. It'd be cool if we could reach level 37 in this level. But once again, we're so far above like the requirement. I don't think we're gonna get a ton of experience at this rate. But that's where I definitely will be playing the game on the higher difficulties. Like I said, I don't really know if you guys wanna see um, me do that on camera or not. I guess I missed it on a chest. Let me go back. Oh yeah, I guess I did. That was probably a reward for taking out all the enemies that spawned in. What do we get in here? We'll get ourselves a soul rube. Not as good as what I, actually it's equal to what I currently have. Don't think that's worth it then. And what's going on over this way then? Because I certainly hear a couple of things. Not too much of interest in this room. We do have one chest, but zero secrets to find. Oh, there's the key. I see him. Chilling out there, a little silver key. Gotcha. Whoop. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was just gonna walk over and get him. Nope. Not the case. Plenty of enemies around, but I think we can handle them. Whoop. Yeah, cave spiders are easy. They don't have too much health. These guys that make the fire are always the biggest deal to deal with. Uh. Okay, ooh, TNT. I'll just toss it over that way while I'm dealing with these guys and hope it works out. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Is that everybody? Almost. Yeah. That's everybody. We get another chest for that. That'll have the soul rope and two TNT. And now it's two out of three chests. It always goes up, doesn't it? There we go, we gotcha. So if we take any damage, it is gonna drop him, which we don't want, obviously. Sounds like there might be another chest nearby. Maybe? He is not, he's not happy with me picking him up. Well, that's too bad, I need you. Maybe in here? I can definitely hear it, but maybe it's just farther down. I don't think so. Yeah, definitely not this way. And it wants me to go over there, but there's still a little bit more left to explore. So I'm trying to check this out. I hear a zombie. It'll just depend on who we run into first, because I don't want to throw two TNT at just like a couple of enemies. But we'll see if that works. That'll get him, at the least. It'll definitely get him. And there's more. Gotcha, gotcha. Hmm. It's a ghost, oh no. There we go, get that key back. Hmm. Yeah, there's really not too much more. There's supposed to be one more chest remaining somewhere though. I hope that that is somewhere that's possible to find. Oh, it could be. Can you not? <laughs> there we go. If you take any damage whatsoever though, you just, you drop the little key guy, which is definitely a bit of a pain. Wait, oh, we don't, here he is. I was gonna say, we don't have him, where'd he go? He's right there. Ah, here's the chest. So that was not the chest I was expecting. It still sounds like there's something over here, but if there is, we don't get to see it, so. That's this whole area cleared out, so I guess we can bring this guy back. Actually, I have not gone up here, and there's nothing. Okay. Might be a bit of a long walk, so let's get back to it. I'll use my potion now, since I do need a little bit of health back. It'll, it'll be mostly restored by the time we get there, I think. <laughs> I don't know why this guy is silver. Usually the keys are gold. I don't think it makes any difference, but it's a little bit weird. All right, almost there. Almost there. There we go. So right back where we started, get to put that key in, and let's get through the door. New, ex new objective explorer. I would love to. But let's definitely go for you a little bit. Stunned him. Oh, we got a, a great hammer there. Well, that's pretty great. Yeah, I don't know exactly which way we should go, but this way doesn't seem too bad. Oh, don't watch out for the fire. Don't wanna deal with that. Okay, so these are all dead ends, mostly. Not seeing too much here. So let's head back. Also, how are we doing with points? I'm at nine points. We're halfway through level 36. At this rate, I don't think we'll get to level 37 here. But I feel like we've definitely, you know, made some good progress with level ups. There we go. We're definitely going to start doing much better once we get to um, places where we get levels or um, just more powerful weapons and gear in the new game plus. 
There we go. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> We're tearing them up pretty good, but that seems to be a bit about it around there. This area is a bit of a uh, a crazy crypt. There's like this is so much going on. This is apparently the forgotten prison. That's not good. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get lost in here, or we may be also forgotten. What about over this way? Not too much. Okay. So it seems like we've explored a good chunk of everything, but let's keep going. Yeah, not too much crazy loot so far in this level. Once again, the power level's a little low for that, even if we do find some good stuff. But yeah, it is still crazy to me that we still have certain artifacts to find. I feel like we've done a pretty good job at finding stuff, but I guess not. Oh, here's this guy, and he's gone. <laughs> there we go. Now the music's starting to pick up. I guess we got more enemies spawning in. Which I can handle, no problem. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with our setup right now. Of course, we got most of this in the last episode. Um, you know, because we had the full on soul setup, which was fun, but over time it was just getting weaker and weaker. So I'm glad that we we do have like a good alternative here. Um, that's bad. Get me out of the fire. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully the TNT got a couple of them. I think it did. These guys are the worst to deal with. There we go. Got him out, taken out there. Is that everybody? No. There. Do we get a chest for that or like any kind of reward? No. Okay, thanks game. Well, there's still plenty of enemies to worry about around here. Starting with these guys. Yeah, we just like take everybody out in one hit right now, so it's it's sort of a little easy. But we're at three chests, so unless something new pops up, don't think we're gonna find too much with that. Okay, ready, set, whoop. Whoa, okay, that was a bad timing. I really couldn't have done that worse. Especially like skeletons and stuff, they're no problem. Basically any of the simple mobs that you would run into like in your normal average Minecraft gameplay, they're usually the easiest things to deal with. Like these ghost guys, I'm pretty sure they're not in any of the Minecraft uh, areas, like in the actual game. I'm pretty sure, maybe I'm wrong, but they're all over the place here, so. That'd be cool though, if this game goes full circle and some Minecraft mobs are made based off of Minecraft dungeons. I would like it. What is, what was that about? I don't know. I think that sometimes those panels like activate traps. I don't know if that's gonna be the case this time. Cause it just didn't seem to do anything. Did this guy get taken out by one of the traps? Yikes. So I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. Maybe down, no, no, no. It's supposed to be over that way. So let's take a quick look around here. What is this? Whoa. Okay, what's happening? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's beat these guys up. <laughs> this is at least some kind of gauntlet going on here. This is cool, I like this. It's a bunch of the ghost guys I don't like, but beyond that, it's still like a pretty cool idea. We just like activated something and called upon all the evil ghosts to attack. No, you dare. Okay, you, you're, you all are going down. Nice. And that got us another chest, which had a power bow. Already worse than what we currently have, though. So I'm gonna take a pass on that one. And it looks like that's just about the exit. Uh, I will go down this way if I can, just to make sure yeah, if there's any extra enemies I could take down. Wanna definitely do that. So there we go. Is this the end? Explore? Um, no, it's not, good. It's a new objective, leave the Forgotten Halls. Okay. We'll skedaddle soon enough, but if that's the way we're supposed to go, then that is definitely not the way I'm going. I wanna check out everything else first. You know, like what is with this long pathway? This has got to lead to something. So far, not looking like it. I mean, it might be leading to something, but it's not really showing it. Weird, it's a bunch of nothing. Why have such a big unoccupied area? Not even with like any enemies or anything. What's the point of that? Maybe more enemies will show up in a minute if we go the other way? Sure, why not? Let's find out. We have over 100 arrows going into this, or do we just leave here? That's it! <laughs> Weird! 
Okay, so the one thing I do have to do is I have to read over the story for this one because I didn't really do much with that. Um, but hopefully we get the artifact we're looking for there, the new one. Very quick level though, 100% of the chests open, 95% of the mobs defeated. I missed some of them somewhere, who knows. Uh, but, totem of shielding. Already have one of these, I guess it's cool to get another one. Um, but yeah, let's read the story to that area. Under, that, yeah, the under halls. Weird, isn't it? Um, under lock and key, no keep is complete without a dungeon and high block halls is no exception. Who knows what the arch illager has hidden away down there? There's only one way to find out. And really, the answer's not much. <laughs> I mean, there were some enemies and stuff. I feel like just this one, the Archhaven was cool, but it was very short. This one was okay, I feel like. Um, it was just basically a prison. Um, so yeah, that was all awesome. Um, I still enjoyed it for sure. Um, and we do have some extra time, so maybe I could go into Fiery Forge and try to replay this to get this one unknown artifact as well. I don't know if that is the same artifact as this is, um, but you can always tell which ones still have missing gear and stuff by the... Um, golden little triangle above the check mark. Um, it means that there's still more stuff to find. So yeah, new rewards, three missions, and so those three right there. So we'll try to find that soon. Maybe I'll do that in today's episode a little bit. But I also wanted to see if we can't get some random stuff, because I have so many emeralds. I don't know what else I'm doing with these, you know? So I might as well spend some of them. We get better harvester and stuff. Uh, was that a even better harvester? A little power feather, that might be better, might be worse. Um, ooh, those boots might be better. I'm gonna do it one more time. Ooh, iron hide amulet, I don't have this. The iron hide amulet is both ancient and timeless. Sam mysteriously and endlessly slips through the cracks in in the iron. So that was, that was it, right there. Um, yeah, for those two. So there's still one more missing one, and we don't know what that is, so I could keep trying this and see if we just get it this way. That's a fishing rod. <laughs> um, Windhorn. Light Feather again. Flaming Quiver. Might have to Torment Quiver, we have that. Okay, so let me clear out some of my inventory stuff here, because I'm sure, obviously, I'm going to have duplicates now. Um, we have two of these. This one's worse than that one, for sure. Um, we have two of these. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah, I wish it would like order things by duplicates. That would make it easier. Um, But, I have this Feather here. This one is definitely worse than this. Um, this is worse. These are almost the same. This one is one point worse. This fishing rod's 35. This one's 22, so definitely it should be better. That was 1.9. This is actually, no, yeah, 2.2 seconds stun duration, so yeah, it is better. These boots, it gives 0.1 more seconds duration. You know, why not? <laughs> I mean, more than anything, it boosts our character's overall power. They're power 35 now. Um, this is worse. But I do want to try this. And then the wheat. That's actually worse than that one. Um, okay. So, one thing I want to check is do we have any more of these? Yes, we do. So, this one can be stashed away. So, let's try this thing. That just gives us protection. Okay, that's cool. So now people try to attack us. They want to do a very good job. <laughs> good to know. Um, let's just keep going then. And see if I can't get that last artifact just by trading with you. Because that would actually probably be a lot more time efficient. Keeping in mind, lightning rod, here it is. Crafted by Ilger Geomancers. This item is enchanted with the power of a storming sky. So is this better or worse than the one I just got? It is actually better. Um, so I'll salvage that. Is this horn better or worse than what we just did? Um, it's worse. Okay, and this fishing rod. Okay, yeah, that's the newest one. So let's try this lightning rod. Um, you can spend souls to call down a bolt of lightning onto an area. So it has two, 27 to 266 artifact damage, plus one soul gathering, requires souls. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to do this right now. Like, I don't know if attacking you will give me souls. It doesn't. Not unless I have a certain blade that does that for me. So maybe we'll just go into a level real quick just to check that out, but now we have all of the artifacts, I think, in the game. It would be cool if I could see the, the achievements from here, but I think that they're in like the actual, I'm playing this on the Xbox PC Game Pass, so actually, there that's not it. There's another one. Oh. Okay. Apparently, unknown. What's interesting is it doesn't actually tell me that anymore. Hmm, weird. Um, 
I'll keep going for it then. And see if we can't find it. We got shock powder. Death cap mushroom. Lightning rod again. Now we're getting the level of time, huh? That's weird. So there, is there another like rod? Some kind of like wand kind of thing? I don't know. But I really don't have too much of another use for this stuff, so I might as well. Except for the weapons, but usually the weapons, they don't usually give me anything good for the weapons. I don't know, maybe that, like, I don't believe that. Because it might say it, because the check mark went away. Oh, there it goes. It just took its time for some reason. Okay, so that really was it. Um, But we got some better ones out of that, I think, so I don't need this. We got quite a few of the flaming quivers. They're all worse. <laughs> <laughs> They're all worse than what I already have. Um, this one's a little bit better. This one's worse. What about this nightcap? Um, or deathcap? <laughs> they get a plants versus zombies. Uh, there we go. 32 for this one. 27 for that one. Okay, so we're making our way through this. 36. Oh, this one's better. Thank you very much. And it does two damage more. Doesn't seem like much, but that'll stack over time. Um. See, so this is the best uh, lightning rod we have. That's 39, so this is worse. And then finally, the shock powder. 31 there, 33 here. So, there we go. Everything should be organized. I don't think we have any duplicates um, for the other stuff. Like, we have stuff that's like the same, but not better. So, I think I'll just salvage all this. I don't think I need it. Is there anything else that can be upgraded that we have? Nope, that's reached max. This is all maxed. Okay, so yeah, I don't need this either. Gives me some extra emeralds. It's not a huge ton. The mace is worse than what we currently have. This is better, but I just don't like that weapon type. I'll keep the sword, I'm still undecided about it. I'd rather have a unique though. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in real quick to a level um, and just see if I can't uh, I'm not even gonna complete the level all the way. I just wanna see this lightning rod a little bit. And that'll be our wrapped up for today's episode. Stay tuned for the next one where we go in and we try to get all of the, uh, the runes, I think they're called. Uh, we need to get in, go into all that and sort of figure that out so that we can find that one, one last secret level. Looking forward to it for sure, it's gonna be fun. Well, we are getting souls here, which is nice. So I'm just gonna destroy this whole group of enemies. There we go and then against you. Wow, okay. That was cool. Interesting. I don't think it's bad, that's for sure. Yeah, let's get rid of this group and these guys. Ow, okay, these guys still hurt a lot up close. <laughs> Gotta be careful of that. Hmm. So what about somebody like that guy? We'll just, we'll focus on who I'm pointing at I don't know, maybe I should have tried on somebody more powerful. Whoop, we're going down here now. <laughs> okay, buddy, watch it. It's not too bad though, for sure. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, that was not a good throw. Yeah, I could have done that a lot better. It's fine. Hmm. Just wanna find somebody bigger that we can maybe use it on. Yeah, like the shield guy. Okay, ready, on him. Oh, not enough to take him out, but it is enough to stun him, so I could see that being pretty useful. So there we go. Now we know what every single, at least as far as I can tell, every single artifact in the game does. That's awesome. I thought that maybe that would give us like an achievement or something. I don't know, I have to look through the achievements and see what else we can get done there too. Um, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.